Black holes are some of the strangest and most fascinating objects found in outer space. They are objects of extreme density, with such strong gravitational attraction that even light cannot escape from their grasp if it comes near enough. This video is brought to you by My Astronomy Channel. When a star burns through the last of its fuel, it may collapse or fall into itself. For smaller stars up to about three times the sun's mass, the new core will be a neutron star or a white dwarf. But when a larger star collapses, it continues to compress and creates a stellar black hole. Black holes formed by the collapse of individual stars are relatively small, but incredibly dense. Such an object packs three times or more the mass of the sun into a city-sized range. This leads to a huge amount of gravitational force pulling on objects around it. Black holes consume the dust and gas from the galaxy around them, growing in size. Our Milky Way galaxy contains a few hundred million stellar black holes. Small black holes populate the universe, but their cousins, supermassive black holes, dominate. Supermassive black holes are millions or even billions of times as massive as the Sun, but have a radius similar to that of Earth's closest star. Such black holes are thought to lie at the center of pretty much every galaxy, including the Milky Way. We are not certain how such large black holes spawn. Once they form, they gather mass from the dust and gas around them, material that is plentiful in the center of galaxies, allowing them to grow to enormous sizes Supermassive black holes may be the result of hundreds or thousands of tiny black holes that merge together. Large gas clouds could also be responsible, collapsing together and rapidly accreting mass. A third option is the collapse of a stellar cluster, a group of stars all falling together. Black holes are incredibly massive but cover only a small region. Because of the relationship between mass and gravity, this means they have an extremely powerful gravitational force. Virtually nothing can escape from them. Under classical physics, even light is trapped by a black hole. Such a strong pull creates an observational problem when it comes to black holes. Scientists can't see them the way they can see stars and other objects in space. Instead, scientists must rely on the radiation that is emitted as dust and gas are drawn into the dense creatures. Supermassive black holes lying in the center of a galaxy may find themselves shrouded by the dust and gas thick around them, which can block the telltale emissions. The event horizon of a black hole is the boundary around the mouth of the black hole where light loses its ability to escape. Once a particle crosses the event horizon, it cannot leave. Gravity is constant across the event horizon. The inner region of a black hole where its mass lies is known as its singularity, the single point in space-time where the mass of the black hole is concentrated. Interesting facts about black holes. If you fell into a black hole, theory has long suggested that gravity would stretch you out like spaghetti, though your death would come before you reach singularity. Black holes do not suck. Suction is caused by pulling something into a vacuum, which the massive black hole definitely is not. Instead, objects fall into them. If a star passes too close to a black hole, it can be torn apart. Astronomers estimate there are anywhere from 10 million to a billion stellar black holes, with masses roughly three times that of the Sun, only in the Milky Way galaxy. Black holes remain terrific fodder for science fiction books and movies. They are mysterious, violent, unknown, and we are still looking to better understand their nature. This video is brought to you by My Astronomy Channel.